This is a Roomba vacuum cleaner with machine vision. And you'll see later in the video that it follows a visual pipeline guide that it develops on demand. This 2D barcode aligns it with the base station. Here we're going to witness the unit returning to its base station where a high performance vacuum suction system sucks the vacuum cleaner free of the debris that it vacuumed from the floor and stores it in a bag system that's located in the housing of the charging dock. The system has two bags, um, or a bag and a bag storage system. This is not my unit, it belongs to Dr. Olga. This is her home and this is where I'm shooting the recording. If we open the lid to the unit, you can see what I'm talking about. There are spare bags and a bag that's set up. If we flip the unit over, we can see the 2D barcode and the charging pins, and that pipe to the left is what sucks the vacuum cleaner clean of its stuff. We see the Molex connector here. This is the unit operating. Now the rest of the video is going to be um, some video clips of the Roomba vacuuming the floor of the dining room and there's so much video footage that I end up time-lapsing the entire long sections. So what you're seeing here is a real-time clip. And the next segment, and it's fun to watch how the, the robot goes around the chair legs. So I left these clips in here so you can see how it uses its bump detector and its vision system to navigate stepwise around obstacles. Now this is the time-lapse section. So this is 20 times faster than reality. And I would say the Roomba has an almost um, chaotic pattern in the way it vacuums the floor, though it does go back and forth um, like a combine on a farm over large sections and produces an organized pattern. So they're using some version of a slam algorithm um, or machine control algorithm that was originally developed by Neato Robotics for their the robot. D75 the series itself. or the XV series before that. Um, they're combining it here with a high brightness modulated LED with machine vision. That's how it's able to see that 2D barcode on the base station. And you see it modulating its LED right here to line it up so it can dock. And it docks not only to charge the 14 volt, 3000 milliamp hour sealed internal lithium ion battery in the Roomba unit itself, but also so the high performance vacuum suction unit in the head unit charger can suck the debris out of the robot. And then you just have to change the bag in the unit. And that's ergonomically more friendly than trying to bend down and change a cartridge in the floor robot. Uh, and you'll see again, I included this clip in real time of it docking and the unit sucking the vacuum clear of its debris. And I, I reduced the audio so that it's not deafeningly loud to listen to in case you're using headphones or something. Hey, thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing and check out that glucometer video that I just uploaded. Cheers. Happy Saturday.